Jenny's book in two minutes, a book preview. I'm going to show you how to store the content of her book at 25,000 words a minute into your other than conscious mind. And then we're going to spend about 30 minutes um, talking to Jenny, asking her questions, and as ideas or thoughts from the book trigger experiences in your life, you'll have the opportunity to ask the author personally questions about her experience. And so I'm going to teach a process of how you can go through a book in two minutes and really know if this is a book that you want to consciously read or if you've gotten enough information so that later as you get through your life that those experiences will, will pop out. The process that I learned about 20 years ago, I hate to say 20 years ago because I still feel like I'm only 16, but it, this is a, a copy of photo reading. And photo reading is a process of reading 25,000 words a minute. Now, we're not really reading consciously like we know how to read a book. Um, what we're doing is we're, we're just flipping through the pages of the book. We're storing the information with our photographic memory. Now, let me tell you what that means. 90% of everything we process right now is by what we see. So if we see something, for example, these flowers in behind me, the flowers sitting on your desk. If you see that and you close your eyes, you can recreate the picture of those flowers in your mind. That's an example of how our mind processes information photographically. And so what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to photograph, and it's really just looking at every page about one page a second. That's 25,000 words a minute. And all we're going to do is flip through your book and take that information and store it in your other than conscious mind. It doesn't matter if your mind, your conscious mind is saying, wait, I didn't get it. Your conscious mind is not going to get it. So what we did is we planted some seeds consciously on how to pull out all the information that we just stored in your other than conscious mind. That's the exciting part. Now I'm going to give you a little example because through this process this morning, our conscious mind is going to be fighting us and saying, no, it's not possible. So there's a reason that I have that big picture book, if you wouldn't mind holding up your big picture book back in the background. Yeah. So for example, here's where's Waldo? This book um, shows there are one, two, three, four different stories, story pictures in Where's Waldo? Campsite, sports stadium, train station, and at the beach. So I can go to any one of these pages and there's a little instruction right here You'll see it, and I'm just going to read it to you. And it says, Greetings, Waldo followers. Wow, the beach was great today. I saw this girl stick an ice, stick an ice cream cone in her brother's face, and there was a sandcastle with a real knight in armor inside. Fantastic. So the whole objective is to start to find the knight on the sandcastle and how to find a little girl sticking her ice cream cone in her brother's face. Now, why am I telling you this? We're going to take your book, And just like Waldo gave those instructions, we're going to have you look through the book with your conscious mind as we're flipping through it for the 12 keystones. So what we're going to do is we're going to just flip through that book, flip, 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 flip. There you go. Just keep going about that pace. And I'm going to put on the screen, don't just ignore me, but for my audience, I'm going to put the PDF and I'm going to flip through the PDF as you're flipping through the book. Great. Excellent. Keep flipping. And I'm going to start flipping through the PDF so those of you online can start to see this. Flip. Flip. And just keep going. And notice anything that jumps out at you. And just keep flipping. You can notice headlines, barefoot, any words that jump out. These are trigger words that are starting to give your conscious and other than conscious mind a connection of communication. And keep flipping. So tell me, what was that like, um, uh, Jenny? Oh, it was very cool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's fascinating to see what your mind lands on. Exactly. So this is a great process to eliminate the conscious mind from controlling and letting both parts work simultaneously. 
And it's amazing what you got in two minutes, isn't it? Yeah. Does it feel, uh, Michelle, does it feel like you've got a good feel of what this book is about? Yes, it does. It feels wonderful. Isn't that I'm amazing? I'm amazed how fast we went through the book and how fast I was able to grasp. Exactly, exactly. Now, can you imagine... Can you imagine teaching every one of your book, women book authors to have their, their um, book potential buyers just flip through the book in two minutes? Because they're going to absolutely know, there's two parts, they're going to absolutely know if they want this book. More than that, they're going to absolutely store in the other than conscious mind the content of the book. And as they get through their life, as they get through their day, things are going to come out of them that are going to go, God, I probably need to buy that book. It's a great method. Absolutely. I had taken a speed reading course about 20 years ago. But this, is a, this is a much better method. Absolutely. Great. Teresa, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So, but what you're, what you're saying, is doing this doesn't preclude taking your time and really relishing over every single word. And Thank saying, you. Thank and you, Kelly. Let me, let me explain. Yes. Uh, let me explain that. Just like you read a newspaper or you go grocery shopping or you go um, to um, the yellow pages, there's, there are many, many ways to read. Unfortunately, we all read with our conscious mind the way our first grade teacher taught. Read word for word, page for page, start from the beginning, go to the end. Well, that was taught to you so that she know if you were learning how to read. But we have evolved from that. In fact, we were evolved before we even taught to read. What happened when we were taught to read uh, consciously is it limited us from accessing all the other parts of our experiences or our senses or our processing. So what I'm doing is teaching you there will be times, for example, I know, uh, Jenny is an extraordinary writer, and I want you to know that that is my opinion after I read, um, went through your book. You'll want to be able to savor her words, and that's why I had you read, Jenny, some of the work, because your writing still is extraordinary. And you will not get an experience the way Jenny had her experience without reading the combinations of her words. So the first part of the book you will want to read for the enjoyment of the experience as Gigi transforms from her ego, um, mental, conscious persona to her soul's expression. And Jenny does an extraordinary job in her words. So you'll want to read that first part of the book in your pleasure time. But that doesn't mean because uh, you don't have 10 hours to read it pleasurably that you can't pull out information from it because of the way she's written it. She has laced instructions to your conscious and other than conscious mind through the 12 keystones and the way she's told the story on how you can use Gigi's experience to transform your own life in the same way. To look at your life like it's a magical theater and you are the creator of that play. And so you can do both. You can read it word for word and consciously absorb the experience of her words and her expression. Or you can flip through it and get instructions for an issue you're dealing with in your own life. Or an experience that you never thought could transform your one way of thinking, your ego experience of life here, to a more multifaceted, um, soul-expressive experience. And then you can also go to the back part of the book and the Dreaming Down Heaven book and use it as a manual to start to transform your life and become the playwright of your experience on this plane. So, did that answer your question, Kelly? That was beautiful, Teresa. Uh, that was excellent. Thanks for um, following my crazy thoughts and my crazy instructions. Um, we've all gained from it. Um, have a great day. Buy the book. Flip through it. And join us again in one of the um, Morewell webcasts, broadcasts.